A beautiful princess was walking through the palace gardens with her sister when she saw a frog. The frog spoke. I'm not really a frog, he said. I've been bewitched and if you'll pick me up and kiss me, I'll turn into a handsome prince. We'll fall in love and live happily ever after. The princess couldn't resist. She picked up the frog and looked at him. But instead of kissing him, she put him in her handbag. Her sister looked at her in amazement. Why don't you kiss him, she asked. Well, said the princess, there's a handsome prince on every street corner, but with a talking frog, I can make a fortune. Love or money? Compassion or what can I get out of this? Which do we value the most? Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having money. It's what we do with it that matters. And whether we pursue money, the big house, the flash car at all costs. And those costs are usually suffered by other people. The Bible's often misquoted on this. It doesn't say money is evil. It says the love of money is the source of all kinds of evil. And that's quite different. I heard a story the other day about a couple who were running a very successful business, but they were giving all their profits away to help other people. One of them said, we believe you become a millionaire when you give away a million pounds, not when you've got it in the bank. Now, isn't that a wonderful philosophy? Of course, most of us would like the chance of choosing what to do with our first million, but the principle's good. What we do with what we've got, whether it's money in the bank or our abilities or our time, we can use what we have solely for ourselves or we can use it to give something to the community we live in. It's great to hear people who put others first in such a positive and practical way as that business couple. Now this weekend heralds the start of Christian Aid Week and gives us all the opportunity to make a difference to our worldwide community. We may not have a million to give away, but we can make sure that people don't go hungry here in our own land and in far off lands. Really successful living isn't about the number of noughts on our bank balance. It's about more the number of people we've helped along the way. It's about the positive difference we've made to other folk rather than what we've squirreled away for ourselves.